It's David here from Site3D and I'm going to show you one method to effectively communicate your designs to clients in a user-friendly way by creating a drive-through which follows a custom driver's path. To create a drive-through in Site3D, all you need to do is hit the view and show drive-through option here, where you can choose the road, you can choose the ride height, you can choose the driving speed, you can even skip along a bit and just hit play. If you want to have a more refined drive through that goes across more than one road, then you can use a custom driver's path. Um, in this case, I also want to infill the areas between the design elements with something that would look like grass. So I'm going to come out of the drive through and what I want to do now is create my custom path. So I have a path imported from a file here and I'm going to put a center line over the top of it by right clicking and hitting select line. Now you can see that path here. I want to level this path line to the design surface now. So I'm going to show the long section for this entire path. You can see that path now. And I'm going to use the level to surface option. And the easiest way to level this to the design surface is to level it to the final surface. If you haven't already created one, you can go to the surface and create final surface option. That has now leveled it to the final surface. Uh, now I want to show that final surface on the design. So on the 3D view, right click, go to 3D surfaces and tick on the final surface option. Now we can see it's hidden the road coloring and I want to see the road coloring. So the way to show that is by just dropping the final surface by a small amount. So I'm going to go to the surface menu, translate, choose the final surface and drop it down by minus 0.1. Okay, and now our road coloring shows through nicely. We want to change the color of it as well because at the moment it is turquoisey color. I want to change it for a more grassy color. So go to the model color properties, change the model drop down to the final surface and just click on the color option and choose an appropriate color. So in this case, I'm gonna go for a green. Okay, we can see that the center line for our path is visible because we leveled it exactly to the uh, to the design surface, the final surface, it now matches that road surface exactly. If you want to hide that one, go to the long section, then click the road menu and translate. And I'm gonna drop this one down by minus 0.1 as well. That will then hide that path line there. So I can close the long section now, maximize the 3D view. And we can see that we have this black vertical bar. If you want to hide that, this is the bar that the whole 3D view rotates around. So if you want to hide that one, right click, go to properties, untick display target position, click OK. And now we are ready to show our drive through. We can change the road to the path that we just created, which is road 18. Change the ride height. Uh, because our path line is slightly below the road surface here, we probably want to increase the ride height above one. Um, but you can change it to whatever you want. And we can also change the design speed and just hit play. That is how you create a drive through which follows a custom driver's path, which you could show live to a client or record with something like OBS Studio. Thank you for watching.